Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Beyond Blue, and today we're going to go check out some bottlenose dolphins and a, uh, I think another sensor that's gone bad, I'm assuming. But first, the dolphins. Apparently it wants us to use the little device here. I have colleagues that are studying the antimicrobial properties of these coral. Oh, what has he got on him? And it's not letting me check it out, huh? So I guess it's like on him, maybe? Let's get in the other one. I guess we're supposed to... Mirai, please, please, get closer. You weren't this excited about the dolphins before. <laughs> I'll say, let me get real close. Kind of a wellness visit. Okay, so what do we need to do? Uh huh. Okay, I think we gotta get like right on him. Nope. Try one more thing. Let's go to the coral. Yeah. Okay. Good. We know now. I'm like, uh, what, what do you want me to do? <laughs> and then we're gonna scan all these whales while he just like glitches right through me. Don't mind. Okay. It looks like it might want us to go check out all of them. Or it's just got that one part. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Okay, so with them taken care of, we can now proceed to the next place. Zoom scan points. Wow, we get actually points from zooming in on them. It. I don't know how that's going to help us, but we can. When I mean, we need so many, though, like 36, I think we're going to see plenty of dolphins in the near future here. So I think our goal now is just to come down in here and check out what's hiding deep down here in the dark. Hey, Andre, those reef sharks like your ringtone. Oh yeah, this is where the sharks were. Will I be able to get the data off that sensor while I'm picking it up? No, it goes to sleep when the power is low to preserve the data. Okay, let's pick up that bad boy. That looks like an octopus. It is. He's in the shell to protect himself. Whoa! Did you see that? A shame that wasn't on the live stream. Have you seen one do that before? Never! Yeah, that's a pretty big thing. From the sperm well pod. Pushing the waypoint now. On my way. Or that's pretty normal actually. What happens is especially like on the coral reefs and stuff like that, when these sharks are there, you know, they'll eat anything. So some octopuses and whatnot will pick up shells or anything to kind of make like a like armor to say. And they like protect themselves. Or Sorry, sometimes sharks. Mariah is off the menu. Sometimes they just won't move and like the shark won't notice because of all the shells and all that and they just kind of keep on going with their way. And I guess it wants us to go see... Oh, there's that, that little well. The baby's back with the rest of the pod. What's it doing? Nuzzling. Probably calling for its mama. Okay, let's check out some information here. Ooh, we've Are kind of been beat up. Mother? Oh, let me back up. Got it. And does it want me to keep on? I guess we gotta keep on like listen to it for a while. You can zoom scan Andrea to record sound. So we'll just sit here for like a minute or two. She's not even 
making noise anymore. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I hear it! There they go. That was our shot. Can you send the sub to pick me up? I'm done for now. I wonder if it's like a... Um... Figure that if you could introduce whale songs into popular culture, you could maybe get a movement going to save the whales. I feel like it might be like um, oh, the sounds that like the U.S. government and them tested out. Uh, man, I'm trying to figure it out. Like they were trying to like use like sound warfare, possibly like maybe weapons while using sound, and they tested it in the oceans and it had bad effects on sea life. Okay, but we're done there. We got another insight. We might as well watch it, you know? What we know as humans about whales comes from just a few scientists so far, like Roger and Katie Payne. They had background in music, and by kind of mapping out the songs, noticing that if they would look at this almost like a song sheet, every 15 minutes or so, there would be a repeat. Only male humpbacks sing, but the function of their song is still mysterious. The general belief is that whale songs serve the same purposes that bird songs do, as ways for males to advertise for mates and to challenge rivals. But why they change their songs is still unknown. Taking that information from whales and passing that to us humans was one of the most transformative pieces of narrative to feed the Save the Whale movement and maybe save some whales from extinction. These animals are sharing this world that might have been millions of years going on in their world. And suddenly, for the first time, we, as humans, are tuning in. Alrighty. And then we looked at the science log last time, should be fine. We know what all this information is now, so we can just skip it and go right to the main chair. Let's see what we got. Unknown noise from deep affects well behavior. Chris recording of the baby whale. Humpback songs in the region. Close related phrase structure and Understand why only central, certain coil in the region are having stress response. All right, let's call. Hey, it's Ren. Leave a message at the beep. Is there actually a beep? Hey, Ren, why's your phone off? You said this was a good time to call. Ignore that. Someone was messing with my whales today. I was just hoping I could vent to you a little. Okay, updates on Nana. Let me know if there's any update about Nana. Ooh, and we had a whale of Palooza today. Anyway, give me a call when you can. The whales say hi back. Alrighty, and then we need to call the main scientist guys here. Hey Mirai, how are you? <sighs> Doing alright. How are you feeling? Any better? A bit. I might finally be getting my sea legs. Next step, diving. <laughs> One step at a time, Mirai. <laughs> okay, but I promise you, it'll change your life. Is Andre with you? No, just me. Andre is analyzing some sound files in the other lab. I think I may have upset him. Again? The two of you do seem to be on opposing wavelengths fairly often. I quite enjoy our debate. Except when it affects our work. It wasn't a debate. It was an argument. Andre, I didn't realize you were on. What did you find? This is video and audio from your last dive. And this is an analysis of the sound that spooked the family. Oh. 
And this sound is from a Canadian marine acoustic scientist. I think the findings are pretty clear. Andre the detective. More like a prosecutor. Andre, who is messing with my whales? Deep sea miners. Mm -hmm. Here? In the research zone? It's off limits to commercial activity. And when has that ever mattered before? We don't know that they are in the research zone. They may be just outside it. We knew they were doing an impact study nearby. What are they after? That might give us a clue. They're looking for rare minerals to make solar panels. Could the sound cause trauma to the whales? The acoustic specialist said it might push them to quieter hunting grounds, but was unlikely to cause acoustic trauma. So what's the move? We should use our mapping drone to investigate their activity. And this is where our debate turns into an argument. We need that drone to map the deep sea vents before Mirai dives there. The biochemistry of these vents is the perfect cocktail for creating new life forms. If there is illegal activity there, we have to stop it. Otherwise, there will be no life forms. Why spend our short time here policing rather than researching? Let's be scientists. Mirai, your dive, your call. Uh, we gotta investigate the miners. I mean, if you don't, who will, you know? I'll dive in the vents without a map. Nobody messes with my whales. Alrighty, we got a message from Ren. Hey, Mirai. Sorry I missed you. Misplaced my phone. Whale of Palooza? Is that a real thing? Tell whomever annoyed you I'm coming for them. Hey, nobody messes with our whales. Does your submarine have sonar? Maybe you can find the bad guys with that. No word on Nana's thing yet. Miss you. Alrighty. And now we are dive ready. Let's get out of here. Kind of see what's going on in our research area. But yeah, what you think about, you know, if things are happening, if bad things are happening, look the other way. You know, everyone else is going to look the other way too. Day five. Open ocean, east of the atoll. I'm ready to play back a coda sound to Andrea to see her response. I'm definitely worried that the family has gotten smaller. Not sure if they were just spooked by that sound or if something else is going on. Staying hopeful. Ready to dive. Alrighty, let's get down there in the deep. Wow, and I'm we are in the deep. Okay. You know, I always feel like I'm swimming in place in the open ocean. Like, wow, this is way out there. Okay, what we got here? Think the explorer drones will flag me as biodiverse? You're not what they're looking for. That's what Spotted everyone said. Sardinella. Sardines? I'm assuming. I'm, I'm hoping. Alright, but let's check out this bad boy. Approaching the buoy. Let's see what we got. Okay, well. That song sounds familiar. Okay, and then we got some weird noise there. Hey, a newcomer. Orcas. Oh. Now to get there before the noise from Andre's minor friends scares them all away. Okay, so the orcas are closest. Let's get this guy. Oh. Look at that biggin' sunfish. Oh yeah. I know some people can kind of fish him. Let's get this one little fish too. Just strolling on his own. He wants to be researched. Alrighty. Now I we're good. Oh wow. To find orcas here. They don't look like killers. Top of the food chain. The just like us. Just show Minus up. the urge to destroy ourselves. Let's get him. Okay, now we need to get our fancy little drone out okay and then on his head hello to you too uh, very different than the whales okay we got that has anyone been tracking them I'm still waiting to see Saddle patch scan. So I guess they got unique little markings on their back. Interesting. 
Let's make sure we got everything. I know there's... Is that hammerheads? Very aggressive shark. Yeah, you want to stay away from them bad boys, let me tell you. I'm hoping this is another Chilean... Was it Devil Ray? I can't tell with all these fish around him. Yep. Pilot fish. Let's kind of check them out. Black and white. Check them out. Alright, let's go figure out what this uh, strange sound is after we check out this fish. Spotted sardinalia. Which I'm hoping are sardines, not for sure. But yeah, let's go check out the mystery. Oh my. Well, hello there. Oh, jellyfish. Moon jellyfish. Another sunfish. Wow, dolphins are chilling out here. Dolphins will protect you. Well, they've been known to. Oh, it's a turtle. Is that a turtle? It looks like a giant turtle. Wow, it's a big turtle. Andre, are you seeing this? Is that a leatherback turtle? I didn't think there were any left here. What happened? Oh, hello there. One of the females, probably. Bio sample acquired. Do you think your turtles are making a comeback? Well, I wish I could be optimistic. It's just as likely our turtle is taking the long route home to somewhere else. I don't know. They like going to the same beach they uh they were born at. And if she's one of them, if she's a she, you know, and she is pregnant, she might be going back to the same beach. Of course, now scientists just like, you know, wait there and take the egg so they can be a more successful hatching. Okay, let's check out our well. Okay, group survey. New or a repeat? Okay, let's check out what we got. Let's get over here. So glad to hear you. Those noisy neighbors silenced enough of your friends. Okay, and then let's check what type of, which one this one is. Okay, gonna, it's on the other side actually, it is. Go on, give it to me. New whale! We'll designate this one M4, because why mess with a good thing? The sounds don't sound like the prior songs. These are more social sounds. Oh. Is there more wells around here? Unless he's a male, he's like, hey, hey women, I'm here. Just rolling with the hammerheads. There might be a female trying to talk to the other wells. Okay, we probably check these guys out. They're probably the same ones. No, look at this sunfish. Just chilling. He's he's far. Alright, let's go check our buoy. Feels like my birthday. And that buoy is my present. Hope it's better than my last birthday. Dare I ask? My sister got me jeans that were mine for mm, about a week before they wandered off, never to be seen again. A mystery, I tell you. All right, let's check out. What do we got? Orcas. The dolphins. Did you not charge any of these batteries before you put the sensor in? It's not a battery alarm. It's the drone. Unknown shark. Interesting. Let's go check out these guys first, and then we'll work our way back. There's another, another buoy there, so that's probably where we're going to have to go. But since these are so close, we might as well explore. Another sunfish waiting for us. Have we scanned you? Yes, we have. You're a beauty, let me tell you. Hello. I just met your friends. Okay. Let's get a close formation. Zoom out just a little bit. Are we sure no one's tracking them? Nothing has turned up. No one cares about the orcas, Arena. apparently. Arena, do you think this one could be sick? I'm honored you believe I could tell from this distance that my knowledge of disease extends to all species. Fair enough. The others have left it behind. I guess they're like looking down upon it. 
All right, let's see here. Now we're gonna go check out the dolphins. I think we've already scanned a few of them, so that might have been the dolphins. Man, those sunfish though are so big. Like, if they were, you know, carnivore, you know, if they ate humans, they could just gobble us up. Of course, we're gonna scan them though. Wait, you can't go wrong with these bad boys. If you're a fisherman, this is like the dream catch right here. If you can fish them, I'm not for sure. Man, they're big. Oh, there's... Oh, smacked right into them. There's some sharks there. More of those sardine fish. Dolphins. Always showing off. Hey, Andre. Can you make your Manta drone do synchronized swimming? Guess we'll see. Get these guys. Hammerhead. Big man, these hammerheads are bigger than I th would expect. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's log you in. Whistle recordings. Alright, we're good. Okay, with that taken care of, we just gotta go check out that one. Let's get some of these uh, hammerheads. Scalloped hammerhead shark. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's one of the robot things. Come here. Alright, let's check what we got. Is that another uh, whale shark? It looks like one's big enough. Yep, definitely. All I see is a jellyfish just waiting to be scanned. You're right. That is definitely not a dead battery. Unless we're using whale sharks as batteries now. There's already a tag on it. Then scan the tag. Sure, like that was obvious. I'm leaving another tag. All right, we got that. And then let's see who this is. Much better than a dead battery. Okay. We got that taken care of. We'll check out our sunfish. I really want to check out the school of hammerheads. That'd be a lot of, you know, good research data. I'll say, come here. It looks like they're just like peacefully chilling out here. Wow, everyone over here needs to be scanned. Okay, we'll leave you alone for now. Oh. I'll say, that's important. Scan everything. We scan these sunfish because I remember doing that. They've been together like this whole time. There's the dolphins. We're in the green. We're rolling with about 23 minutes. I think we're doing pretty good. Let's see if we can figure out what this mining operation is. If there is any. And then we'll scan these bad boys. Oh, come on now. Pilot fish. And more moon jellyfish, okay. It's another lone hammerhead. Alright, let's check what we got. Can you pick this dive location because you tracked the baby's pod out here? Uh -huh. I said they were heading in this direction. Nowhere to be seen. Andre, the buoy is glitching. I don't know what range you've set, but I think I'm hearing all the animals in the Pacific. Yeah. Too many sound signals for the software to keep up. It's a whole there's like a whole tribe of whales. I don't know what kind of party I'm crashing, but pretty sure I'm going to love it. Okay. Let's get these fish. I know we're going the wrong direction, but we need the information. We need the research. All right, we're good now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could like a scuba dive out here in the open like a, all I can tell is like a great wipe just coming from underneath me and just hitting me and I'd be dead dead I say Ooh, wow what is a feeding that? it's a bait ball humpbacks orcas very unusual but 
Everyone's gotta eat. Are you safe, Dolphin? I'll try not to be mistaken for a fish. Of course dolphins show up. Never like oh. being left out of the action. They want leftovers. Good luck to them. They're up against bigger stomachs. Yeah, well, they only, you know, they eat less, too. Gotta get these orcas' eyes getting away. Okay. Look at all that fish. Typical feeding. Usually you only, you don't really see like multiple creatures together. You know, usually it's like one. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Let's check out this Chilean uh, Devil Ray. Here they are. You were right, Andre. I guess I didn't just swim across the Pacific for nothing. Okay, let's research these bad boys. Okay, does it want us to identify them probably? Oh, no. Sperm whale family. Then we need to scan the other one. We're out here doing the dirty deed. I mean, it's kind of remote out here. Are there fewer than before in this pod? Or am I just getting faster at tagging? No, definitely fewer. But maybe the others are hunting. No, no, don't leave me. Well, the mother stayed with the baby this time. Okay, ready for playback? Ooh. I've prepared a coda you can activate from your dive watch. Ooh, the whales from earlier. Okay, let's see if we can talk to them. Okay, first attempt to speak whale. Hopefully I won't offend her. Echo clicks. I could feel it across my body. Just checking me out. First contact. She zoom scanned you. You have no idea what that felt like. She was looking right at me. Whew. You have no idea. She's like, can we eat her mother? Sound is everything to Wells. It's their hands. These are animals with the biggest brains on earth and the most powerful sound apparatus. What would happen if we're the unintelligent creature here, you know, like the whales are just like the smart ones and just because they don't got hands, they can't, you know, advance technologically, technology wise. Like the clicking and sound is like a more sophisticated, you know, way of speaking. All right, and we have a, uh, a video of the watch and of course we will. And then we'll check out our science log. If people stayed on the shore and never got underwater, how would we ever know that fish like one another? When you see fish interact with other creatures, like the octopus and the grouper, who go fishing together, they communicate in ways that we don't know what they're saying, but they know what they're saying. They've been on the earth for hundreds of millions of years. They've had a long time to figure out these close relationships. Sharks actually might prey on dolphins in a natural setting, but when they are presented with a bait ball, then they work together for this common goal to feed on the fish. We had very large bait balls spread over probably half the size of a football field. We had mobula, we had dolphins, the bait was shifting everywhere, animals were coming in, moving out, just moving so quickly. So we have some orcas around the bowl and also under. So everybody works together as a team, herding the fish. Males, female, everybody is doing this and they will eventually share the stunned fish afterwards, which is pretty amazing to see there is no competition. So everybody is working together and everybody is sharing the prey afterwards. It really takes a long time of being in there, watching the same species of fish to figure out these really interesting things that they're doing. So I think that there's probably a lot of really interesting behaviours out there that we haven't even discovered yet. Interesting. All right, science log. The orca. Saddle patch pattern scan to help create a digital signature for this individual. Andre will post the ID on the Ocean X network to see if any scientists are tracking these orcas. And then we got the vocals. Weirdly enough, they kind of sound like a coyote, just a tad bit. Although their backs thought to have been wiped out in this region, Biosample collected to obtain a genetic footprint and see if it might be related to one of the small remaining populations. Okay, everyone else is kind of the same here. 
Oh, that damselfish. Eh, don't got a lot of information. Okay, the sardinia. Stay up towards the sunlight. Alrighty. Moon jellyfish. Nothing. Who's scalloped hammerhead shark? Up top. That's everyone, I think. Andre would trace the origin of the tag to see what study might be in progress with those, this whale shark. New Wi-Fi tag deployed to enable acoustic tracking. And there we go. So we're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. In the next one, we'll go sit in the chair and figure out what's going on.